Good evening, everyone. How the fuck are you guys doing? I'm doing pretty goddamn good. And Happy New Year, right? I can still say that. The year is fucking new. Okay, and um, I, I, this is my first video uh, of 2011. So, yeah, yeah, go me, right? Congratulations. And, and I realize that I've been neglecting you guys a little bit, and I haven't made any videos like this in a long time. Ed, sorry, you know, what can I say? I've been quite busy over the last couple months. Some things have changed in my life and, uh, quite frankly, are continuing to change. And I don't think that this channel, in all honesty, is really going to survive the entirety of, of 2011. I, I don't see that happening, sorry to say. Um, not for any negative reason. Everything's going great. Um, it's very positive changes and... Yeah, I probably won't be around for the entire year. But while I am, uh, you know I've got some complaining to do and some bitching to do and some things to clear up for everybody because, that well, that's what the fuck I do here on YouTube. I am the eyes and forehead of motherfucking reason and clarity around this bitch. And that's the way it's always been. And, you know, why stop now, right? I saw a couple of videos today, and they both sort of dealt with topics that I've, that I've always been sort of keeping an eye on and had on my mind for a long time. Now, the first video I want to talk about is a video by um, someone I consider a friend of mine, Don, um, Moonlit Nights, um, Rogue Combatants. We were rogue combatants many moons ago at night. Uh, wh whatever the fuck the username is now, right? Um, he did a video today. Maybe I'll link it. Maybe I won't. Um, but but he did a video today about um, how there were a group of um, YouTube atheists on Blog TV. Apparently, and I, I've never really heard anything about this at all. Um, but they maybe they were like trying to collect funds for some sort of atheist radio show. Um, and, and Don's major concern was that well. What atheist message do you need to spread that would necessitate a fucking atheist radio show? Right? Like, what the fuck would you need that platform for? Now, I know what this is, and I'm not trying to really fucking dish you, Don, because what's happening here, why this is rubbing you the wrong way, is your critical thinker spidey sense is starting to fucking tingle. And that happens. That's a good instinct. It's a good instinct because whether or not we like it, okay, and I know people frown on generalizations and they don't really like them. But I, I once again, I have to break the news to you assholes. There are generalizations that are based on truth. They're rooted in the fucking truth. So like it or fucking lump it, bitches. Some generalizations actually have their place. This is going to be one of those times, all right? There are two major thinkers, two different categories of thinker on this planet, all right? Never mind everything in between. Everyone can be placed in one of two categories, okay? Those categories are critical thinker, dogmatic thinker. No matter what your philosophy, no matter how you approach it, no matter how you consider it, no matter what your favorite fucking books are, or, or what your favorite sports team is, you fit into one of those fucking categories, okay? You're either critical or you're dogmatic. That's it. There's no fucking way out of it. Sorry to disappoint you. Oh, uh, you're generalizing. Not everybody. Yes. Everyone can be placed in one of those two categories. Now... Having said that, what's happening with you, Don, is a symptom, if you will, or if you won't, it's still there, of being a critical thinker. You're, you're, you're getting nervous when you see a, a group of self-proclaimed critical thinkers, free thinkers, starting to demonstrate the same type of behavior that dogmatic thinkers often demonstrate. When you see that, as a critical-minded person, you get a little nervous. You get a little antsy. And you go, whoa, 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 wait a fucking minute. What the fuck are you doing? The problem is with that paranoid instinct that critical thinkers have, and it's a useful one at times, is that sometimes we go overboard with it. The thing, the thing about it is, is 
there there is no real atheist message. Atheism is what the fuck it is. It's a rejection of theism. It's a rejection of claims made by religion, made by theists, and that's what it is. Um, but you might say, well, what's the use? What 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 message could you develop? Well, I mean, look at all the atheist channels here on YouTube. People um, expressing their opinions about different things. Uh, a, a great example of how atheism can be a relevant topic in uh, society today is a channel um, that I've come to really like a lot over the last year. Um, young lady called Loving Doubt. If, if you're not, you might be familiar with her. If you're not, um, I'll, I'll leave a link to her channel. But she's done an, an entire series called My Journey to Atheism. Uh, which sounds corny as fuck, right? But but for a lot of people, it's a big deal. You know, for a lot of people that weren't always, I've always been critical. Since I was a fucking kid, I, I didn't want to believe what I was told. Why was my favorite fucking word? And that hasn't changed. But for a lot of people who grow up in, with a religious background and they accept what they've been told, atheism is taboo as a motherfucker. In this day and age, it still is. So videos like the ones that Loving Doubt made about how, you know, her being an atheist, her coming to terms with that critical thinking, uh, explaining how it directly affected the people around her, how it affected her life, how it affected her friendships, these things do matter to people. So it can have an impact, and it can be very fucking positive, to be honest. Um, and I understand that your, your spidey sense is tingling and you're getting a little fucking nervous when uh, a group of atheists are a group at all. But a group doesn't make a dogmatic group by default. I mean, you can have a group of critical people. The difference is, is that those people will be critical of one another, like we see in the atheist community all the fucking time here on YouTube. They'll be critical of one another. They'll be fucking fighting. They'll disagree and it will be okay to disagree. And that's the difference. Now, if a group of self-proclaimed free thinkers get together and they start telling other people exactly what they should think, and when presented with evidence to the contrary, they refuse to change their fucking minds about anything, well, then you don't have free thinking atheists. You have dogmatic atheists. There's a big fucking difference, okay? Um, so it's it's a good instinct that you have, Don. Hang on to it. Don't let go of it. But, uh, yeah, atheist radio shows, atheist videos on YouTube channels, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, they can do a lot of fucking good, I think. I, I don't think it's uh, anywhere near the kind of, like, group think that you might feel like it could become in the future, right? Uh, it's a good instinct, but be careful with it. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so the other video that I wanted to address was made by a YouTuber who goes by the name Completely Lovely. And she is. She's fucking completely lovely. In that, in every fucking way that you could imagine, right? Um, you know how Dave Chappelle, for any fans of Dave Chappelle out there, he did that skit where he was like, the only way that I could get away with saying what I really thought was if I hired, like, a pretty white girl to sing my thoughts. I feel like that I've actually considered contacting Completely Lovely and, and just being like, look, I've got some fucked up shit to say. Could I just hand you a script and you say it? Uh, you can give me the credit, but you say it, and people, it'll just be better received. Everybody wants to see a pretty white girl say something fucked up, and, and she can get away with much more. But, uh... <laughs> All jokes aside, she she's a really cool lady. She uh she does good videos for the most part. But but today she did a video about agnostics and she was sort of encouraging them in, in some odd way to come over to the side of atheism and, and I snapped. I, I just I fucking I, I lost my temper. And, and the reason I lost my temper is because uh, to prove my point, I've developed an aptitude test. The AAT the Agnostic Aptitude Test. All right, and I'm going to give it to you in just a second. But the point is, is that if you say, Hi, I'm Jim, and I'm agnostic, and you're using that, it, like that, that sentence, 
in a conversation about the supernatural, be it God, be it any other sort of supernatural claim being made, and your opinion on that supernatural claim is to say, Hi, I'm Jim, and I'm agnostic. Well, congratulations. Welcome to an exclusive fucking club called Everyone on the Goddamn Planet. Everyone's agnostic when it comes to matters of the supernatural. Nobody gives a fuck either. All right? The only problem, the only obstacle in the way of, of proving that point are, are people that are unwilling to admit that they have no knowledge of the God they like. That's it. There's theists. Theists have been the only people to say, well, wait a minute, sir. I, I, I'm not agnostic. I, I, yes, yeah, you are. Agnosticism is about knowledge or lack thereof, right? You have no knowledge, right? You have no knowledge. How do I know? Because you have faith. That word is thrown around by preachers and clergymen so that you'll just accept the shit they're telling you. If this were about knowledge, right, if you had some sort of knowledge of God, if you had some sort of access to God, if you had some sort of knowledge that you could demonstrate, there would be no such thing as atheists. There wouldn't be one because there would be knowledge there. Right? There'd still be dogmatic people rejecting the knowledge and refusing to listen, but they wouldn't be atheists. They'd be dipshits. They'd be dogmatists. They'd just be refusing to acknowledge facts. That's all they would be. But that's not a problem that theists have, is it? They have faith. They talk about how, well, you need to have faith, and you need to have faith in what I have faith in. We'll have faith together. It'll be a big faith fucking circle jerk. But that has nothing to do with knowledge. That's why you're agnostic, because you lack knowledge of the supernatural, just like me, just like Jim, just like Tony the fucking mailman who drops off your church fucking newsletter every Sunday, or they don't run the mail on Sunday, Saturday, maybe, I don't know, but you get the idea. You're all fucking agnostic. That's all there is to it. And I really despise any atheist who says, well, I'm an atheist, but I'm incredibly open-minded. Because I also happen to be agnostic. Uh, uh. Congratulations, once again, for stating the fucking obvious. That, that stance, that opinion, has no, no bearing, no effect, no, has nothing to offer to a conversation about something that nobody has knowledge about. You're not, you're not being like extra... Um, tolerant or diplomatic or some shit because you say because you state the obvious fuck off how pretentious of you I hate you I hate everyone who is agnostic and by that I mean I hate everyone <laughs> but that's it for the day ladies and gentlemen I I'll put the pertinent links down in the Sarah Han bar uh, you people have a good evening peace